I started some boxes as Christmas presents for some people and uh, then never finished them for Christmas. So it's been four months and I finally got back to finishing them. Um, the boxes are just uh, basic butt end pinned together and glued. Um, there's no box um, joints or finger joints or anything like that. They're just a one end butting up to another end and then glue and then pin with brad nails so nothing fancy about that uh they're made from different materials i actually don't remember what, what that one is i think that's an aspen yeah i think that's, that is actually aspen material um this one is there's just a basic box uh material you can buy like drawer material that already comes pre-slit for the um, bottom slit for the bottom slot um, for the bottom of the box uh, whereas this one and the other two I had to use my router to cut a slot for the uh, bottom of the box uh, which is not a problem uh, this one is also that Aspen I think it's Aspen can't remember I got it so long ago um, the tops to this box is made from maple and then I was just using my router to get a pretty edge on it the top for these two is actually a bunch of um, ambrosia maple um, pieces that I just glued together and then just did, did a basic quarter round routing on them now this box is made from cedar fencing is the box part um, the top and the bottom are actually reclaimed pallet wood that i tore off the pallet and then planed down so um, that's what those are they have all got you know this is my first shot at boxes you know they got some flaws to them um you know, the most recent step was to uh actually put hinges on them and that one messed up because i uh, uh torqued too hard and cracked a couple of cracked a couple of the screw heads um so that's why i put a third hinge on there um this one has the flaw not very easy to see but you can kind of see some little holes popping through there a little bit that i made this top is so thin that the screws were too long so i had to grind them down and i didn't quite grind them down perfectly um so third started to poke the other first one uh, but one of those holes is actually just from the pilot hole i drilled through yeah there's some boxing I, I've, you know, I've got a bunch of other material to, to, get to, box, to make boxes out of. Unfortunately, really half inch is really the, the, the size you want to do, and they're all, most wood is three quarters, uh, one inch. So you have to uh, get rid of a lot of the wood. Uh, you have to plane it down, which is, I don't like you know buying, buying wood and then getting rid of it. Um, they are just coated with, Oh my gosh, why can't I remember what they're coated with? Let's go over here and see what they're coated with. Uh, Danish oil. There you go. Just a natural uh, Danish oil. They're, they're, it has different tints to it if you want. Um, so, those are things. Okay, we'll show you some of the raw starting for this. Let's come back over to here. This is my cedar fencing that I it's it's really inexpensive to buy and you can make a bunch of stuff with it but it's very soft wood so if you gotta have something that feels that's okay with that and i planed it down so nice and even got all the roughness off um the fencing part this is the material that you can buy that's pre-cut pre-made it's got the slot already in it if you don't have a router table to cut that slot for a uh, bottom of a box or bottom of a drawer even as opposed to if you just, you know, put a bottom on. Whichever way works for you, 
And then this was the that other the beginning of the other material that I made the from the boxes out of its it was half inch material. There are some boxes that somebody is getting for a late or early Christmas present. Take your pick. 